Okay, we're in the shop today to talk about connectors. So, um, I have shown you a bunch of photos where they use um, a connector to bring some electrical wire into a box. So, when I was chatting about the um, stove, or sorry, the, the dryer power and the steam shower power getting brought into the electrical box, this is the exact connector that will tie into the panel and hold the, water, the wire stable so that you can do the rest of your wiring knowing that this wire is not going to pop back out. You can't just put a bare wire through one of these holes like you do with this style electrical box. This style electrical box, as I've shown you before, is pop off the tab that you want to use. Then you bring your wire through, and then down in there, there is a clamp, and then you're clamping down the wire to hold it into the box. So, show you a little closer here. So you screw down there, and this holds that wire right down into the box how it's supposed to be. When you're using this style of box, you push out the knockout hole and you must use a connector to put into the hole to clamp the wire down. So you can see here in this example, I used a 40-40 connector to go through into the electrical box and then I've got a screw that I can tighten down to fasten this in. This is the exact same connector that you guys have seen me use on all the pop or recessed lighting in the home. So again, pop out your knockout hole, stick the connector in, then you've got a screw to lock down on your wires. Okay, so another spot you'll use a connector is with a pan box. So um, I want to mount a pan box on the center of this support, um, allowing the electrical to come through on this side. So I would punch out the hole that I, that's necessary to do so, grab my connector, helps to loosen them off a little bit just to squeeze this, this type into the hole. Go to the back of my box, put the one tab, like spread the tab into there and compress it together and twist until you get it to lock into the groove. So there we go, just clicked in and you should have just a very thin piece of metal sticking on the one side and the full a full available um, screw to tighten down onto. So, bring your wire, through, just so your jacket's sticking past, Okay, not too tight, but enough to hold the wire. Always ground it.
typical install for a pan box using a 4040 connector to hook in a 14-2 Lumex. So then I would just work on my service loop and staple it down going to my next destination. So, one other spot that you'll use a connector is when you're using metal jacketed wire, um, BX. Um, now, this is a 14-2, but it's inside a metal jacket. So, if there's areas like in a utility room where your wires are always going to be surf or, or, or visible, or in a situation where wires are surface mounted um, in a cabinet, etc., etc., you must use a uh, metal jacketed wire so that the wire and the power is protected. So, a little different with BX though. Um, the connectors they have have a little stopping point so you can't shove this metal jacket further than that point and, uh, and then your bare wires would come through. Now, when you cut this wire or the jacket, it leaves a very, very, very sharp edge. So you must use an anti-short to stuff down the BX wire jacket right there before you put it through this connector and then the tab must stick out on the other side so that anyone inspecting the work can make sure you have an anti-short connector. So I'm just going to show you a real quick demo on how to do this properly into this single device box. First I'm going to knock out the hole that I'm going to use. This connector is a little different. It's got a, um, a washer on it and a threaded piece that goes through the hole and you put the washer on the other side, the locking washer, and tighten the two. And then you can hold this one inside the washer with your finger and turn this to do your final tightening down. Now, I'm going to back off the screw to give me the space in here to be able to stick the BX wire through. Then I'm going to show you how to cut the BX, install the anti-short, and put it into the connector. So BX wire, uh, very difficult to cut without ruining the wire below. So you estimate where you want to cut it, you break it to cause it to pop out, then you straighten it and you go counterclockwise with the piece that you want to cut off. Now you're left with this little loop that you can get some side cutters on. Now, I've got that trimmed, but there's a very, very sharp edge there. So that's where this anti-short comes into play. You use the cone side down, and you're squeezing the cone into the jacket until it's flush like that. Once you've got it like that, bring it through the connector keeping it nice and tight to the face of the connector and so you can see that little tab sticking through so the inspector knows that it's been installed. Once you got it through like that Tighten down on your clamp and ground your ground wire to your lug screw in there and wrap your wires in there and you're ready to carry on.
Okay, so that's going to wrap up our discussion on connectors. Just a quick review. Um, these are the more common connectors you're going to see in the residential situation. Um, there is tons of connectors when you go to the hardware store. So if you're unsure of what you're looking for, ask someone to give you some help with that. But uh, just know there's tons of different connectors for tons of applications and you must know that you're using the right one in the right situation. So there's the little red tab where the uh, anti-short is sticking through. There's the BX going through the top of the connector. Pretty straightforward. So this connector here is bringing a 14-2 BX wire with a metal jacket uh, into the furnace. So it's got uh, an anti-short which is that red plastic piece at the front so that the jacket, when you cut the jacket, so the jacket can't cut into the wire. And this is the BX connector to use through a 3 8 knockout into the furnace. So this is a single device box with a BX wire connected right into it. This wire comes from the furnace which we just looked at at the furnace end. Exact same connector. So right there is actually the 4040 connector that uh, is underneath my dishwasher and ties the power into the dishwasher. Okay, so here are two connectors that are carrying the larger wires that are for my steam shower and for the dryer. Um, this connector is bringing it through the 3 8 hole and, um, or sorry, the small knockout. And at the other end of it, it's going to have the same connector going into the steam unit and the dryer plug. So. Just a quick look at uh, a lar uh, one that's capable of taking a larger si size wire into.